Hey guys, it's Zach and Andrew here, and Hi. we are so excited to come to you today with another topic. Uh, so for those of you who don't know, Zach and I are we're both coaches and mentors, and we've been making videos about some really important things that a lot of uh, gay men especially are struggling with. And very recently, we actually made a video about why do we resist doing what we know is best for us. And that was a video that actually our group voted on and asked us to make, and we were so excited to make it. But we wanted to make a follow-up video as well, where we go really deep into actually some solutions to, hey, Kathy. Hey, hey Edit. Edit. Good to see you. Um, so we wanted to make a video that actually talked about some solutions on a really specific topic. So again, we pulled our group and the topic that they wanted us to discuss was why do we resist and why are we afraid to really communicate more openly and also just to show our true authentic self. And in our last video about why do we resist doing what we know is best, hey James, it's good to see you. Um, well, there were five reasons. And the first one was fear of failure. We had the fear of unknown. We had perfectionism, another big one. Uh, we had not feeling worthy or good enough. Hey, Shannon, good hey, to Shannon. see you. And the fifth one was fear of success. So those were the big five reasons why we resist doing what we know is best for us. And so today we're so excited to talk about why we are afraid to communicate more openly and afraid to really be our true self. Right. And honestly, we, we think this is the most important thing when it comes to living a full, happy, fulfilling life with lots of connection and ultimately having a lot more freedom. Because when you're able to really communicate openly, hey, hey Brian, Brian, when you're able to communicate openly and really be your true self, you're gonna magnetically attract people and you're gonna find yourself surrounded by people that love you for exactly who you are and not for who you're trying to be. You won't have to keep a guard up and try to be someone else. You won't have to try to impress people right. because you'll just be showing up as you are and being loved and accepted for the beautiful person that you are. And so we've been talking about this in our group, Vibrant Confident Gay, and a lot of men have shared some really insightful, vulnerable things. Uh, and Zach's actually got some of those that he's going to share. Hey, John Michael. Hey, John Michael. And um, yeah, as Andrew just said, we've been having some really tremendous interaction in our group, Vibrant Confident Gay. And we wanted to highlight some of the comments that we, we received when we were talking about, you know, how we wanted to approach this topic. And one comment that we received was, I feel like I was putting myself out there to someone only to be told I'm not good enough. Rejection is a big challenge for me. Another member says, I feel like it makes you lose out on real possibilities. It's hard to open up and be yourself, especially if you're constantly afraid of the unknown. Mm. Another member says, I know I'm a great person with a heart of gold and I can make everyone laugh, but unfortunately I hold myself back because people judge me for being gay. Yeah, it, it sounds like, you know, the biggest challenges, you know, as a collective were definitely things like fear of judgment, fear of rejection, and just plain not feeling good enough. And these are deep challenges that typically can't be fixed overnight, especially because these beliefs get implanted at, you know, at us in a really young age. Um, parents may not be always be accepting, um, you know, we could be afraid to come out of the closet. You may have learned that you can't act or be yourself, and these things can really hinder how we express ourselves. And even after you may have come out of the closet and feel better about being gay, there can still be big parts of you that, that don't even accept who you are. And, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's really, really hard. When it's frustrating. The, the brain is, can literally be hardwired from a young age to think, it's not safe for me to, to be myself. It's not safe for me to communicate how I'm actually feeling. Yeah. It's not safe for me to, to go out there and approach people even. I might get rejected. And it's, it's a huge challenge. And if you're watching the replay, we'd love to hear if, if you can relate to any of this. 
how this might show up in your life. We, we love going back and, and interacting with your comments. Um, but also, so we, we want to tell you some solutions and some strategies to really start to overcome this. Yeah. And so first of all, if, if you're even watching this right now, I want to say that that's amazing. And it's just good for you for watching this. We know these topics are not very mainstream. And uh, I'm so glad that you're watching this to really work on improving yourself from the inside out. And right. And so now that we've talked to you all about reasons why we resist communicating more openly and being our true selves, now we'd like to share with you some solutions. So yeah. some, some ways that you can move forward really proactively and confidently. Yes. Yes. And I want to say hello to Jack and hi, Rance as well. Hi, Rance. So the first, the most important thing, and this is much easier said than done, but I'm going to talk about it a little more is to not let other people's thoughts about you dictate how you think about yourself. Yeah. Uh, that, that is so huge and so important. Uh, so ultimately, one, one example is that if, if you're feeling bad about yourself because of how someone else is acting towards you or something that somebody says towards you, if, if you're feeling bad about yourself, then it means there's a part of you inside of yourself that already believes that that was true. Uh, if, if you did not believe what they were saying to you or the messages that you get from their rejection, then it, it would just, literally, yeah, you would just, just, you would just brush it off. Yeah. Like if, if someone, like I'm not wearing a hat right now, so if someone said, hey Andrew, that hat you're wearing is so freaking stupid, <laughs> what, who are you to wear such a dumb, ugly hat? Yeah. Be like, huh, like I'm not wearing a hat. Yeah, but if but if somebody says something to you that really triggers you or pushes a button, if 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 somebody touches upon an insecurity that you might be experiencing, that can just completely take over your mindset and completely just wipe out your energy. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So so that that's the first thing. Really try not to control what other people are thinking about you. Ultimately, you have no control over what, what other people think about you. And the most important thing is to just really be yourself. And, and that's the second thing. If, if you're being yourself and somebody rejects you, then you can really embrace that and honestly say thank you to that person. Because what that means is that you can open yourself up for more connections with somebody else that might actually love you for who you are. Because the last thing you want is to be putting a lot of time and energy into somebody who isn't going to mess with you for, for who you are right now. Hi, Angelo. Yeah, hey, Angelo. Good to see you. So, yeah, so, so that's another strategy. And another one, so fear of unknown is a really, really big thing that keeps coming up in our group. Yeah. We're afraid of the unknown, and so we might as well stay where we are. And so... Just This might sound counterintuitive, but one way to kind of flip the script on this is to really start trying to embrace the unknown and celebrating the unknown. Because ultimately, you really have two choices. You can stay where you are right now, or you can take steps into another area of your life. You can take steps to grow, uh, whether it's around your health, uh, getting out there in the dating world, your relationships. And any time you're going to be moving forward, you are actually going to be stepping into the unknown. So yes, it's very scary to step into the unknown, but view it as a sign that I'm moving forward. I'm growing. Yes, the unknown's scary, but I know I don't want to be exactly where I am now. So I'm going to choose to move forward into the unknown. Hey, Azul, it's really Hi. good to see you. Um, so I'm going to move forward into the unknown and have a bigger, more expansive life. And so that is the uh, third strategy. Really embrace the unknown and, and be excited about it. Yeah. Another one so is to just practice being yourself and communicating openly even when it is scary. And that's another big one. There's, we're always going to have fears. We're always going to be uncomfortable. Um, there's probably never going to be a time, honestly, where we feel a thousand percent safe, just being completely safe and, and free to 
truly be our most authentic self. So even when you're feeling scared to do that, just be brave and do it anyway. Hey, Karen, oh, we, we love you so much too. Good mm, to see you. Thanks for watching. Um, so really, listen to that inner voice that you, that you know you have and really be brave and try to get out there and be yourself even when it's scary. There's a really good saying I love and that's, you can't be brave unless you're already scared. And, and so that's the, the fourth one, really just be brave and do it anyways, even when you're afraid. And the fifth and last is to work with a coach or mentor if you wanna grow even faster in these areas and really blast through your old fears and doubts. Yeah, that, again, there's a, a quote, a really good saying I love, um, you can't, you have to do it on your own, but you can't do it alone. Right. No one's gonna be able to make these shifts happen for you on the inside. It's really ultimately gonna be up to you to, to start trying new things, getting out of your comfort zone, uh, growing, and really getting yourself out there. But on the other hand, you don't have to do it alone. Right. And, and I think that is just so important. And I, I know I would not be where I am today if I did not have the support from coaches and mentors myself. Likewise. And yeah, and Zach can say the exact same thing. So ultimately, I would highly encourage you to not be afraid to really talk to people, try to get some real support around this. If it really is that important to you to really starting to, to really start expressing yourself more fully, showing it more authentically, and really living the happiest, more full, most full life that you could possibly imagine. Right. So um, we want to thank you all for watching, for joining us today. Um, if you're catching the replay, please give us a thumbs up. Um, shoot some comments down below. Let us know what you thought of the video, um, if anything came up for you, and if there's anything that we listed that, that might keep you from you know, being your authentic self and communicating more openly. So thanks again for tuning in. We hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Yeah, we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now. Bye.